Hi YouTube, so here is my first specific YouTube video in a very long time. Um, but yeah, I just drove six hours down to Western Kentucky looking for short nose gar, spotted gar, long nose gar, and there's even alligator gar down in those lakes. But yeah, watch this video to see what we got. Alright, so we are walking around in the swamp at night, dip netting, hoping for the best. Wow, so this is one of the three gar species in this lake. This is the spotted gar. Um, it's about full grown actually. It's probably right around 20 inches. These guys are amazing. So the short nose gar looks just like this with no patterning. And the long nose have that long narrow snout. So that's the three species that are in this lake. I am so excited I finally caught one of these. I've always been searching for one. Yeah, I caught it just using this dip net off of these little shallows. I'm gonna go get them in this live well over here until we're ready to go home. Amazing, we just got another spotted gar. I caught it in about six inches of water. I got, uh, got his head right into this dip net and then the rest of his body slid right in. So it's October, the water conditions I caught them in, it's probably 39 degrees, uh, very shallow water, and they were actually feeding on a uh, baby hybrid bass in here, which was amazing to see. All right, so here is exactly how I'm doing this. I'm just going around and uh, they look like sticks in the water. And if I can uh, pick their height end and get my net around the head, the, they just dart forward and get completely in my net. Had decent luck so far. Yeah, it's just hard to see through this water. All right, spotted gar number three. Just as impressive as the last two. This guy is a little bit thinner. So this might actually be a male, the other two could be females. No real way of knowing, but with a trio, I'm pretty hopeful that they might breed in the summer. Even down in the eel pit, I'll give them some spawning mops and uh, see what they can do. Ah, so amazing. Not what I was trying to catch, but it was too easy. This is a warmouth, I believe. Really cool uh, sunfish, I think. All right, so here is where we are storing the gar for now. We got three spotteds. We're leaving first thing in the morning. There is that massive, massive female. She's gonna be amazing in the eel pit. But yeah, three total. That's definitely the biggest and the lightest. The way you identify spotteds is uh, they're the only ones with spotting on the nose. So amazing. Especially in a group, these guys will be really cool. And I'm really hoping I can get them to breed. We got our guy, we're all ready to get packed up. I got him down here on the live well on the go. These are uh, three spotted guards, what we ended up with. We caught him actually just right over here in these shallows. Uh, super excited, they should be too amazing in the field today. Uh, next spring, I'll probably add a spawning mop. It looks like we got at least one big female, maybe one thinner male. And the other one, I really can't tell what it is. Yeah, right up here, so well. I'm gonna go for the uh, big female right now. Hopefully she fits in our tote. Hopefully I don't lose her too when I grab her out. I'm impressed I caught her in this net. Oh, I think I just scraped her. Here's some uh, striped bass that somebody else caught. Find my guy. Do it. Go for both. Now there's the bass in here too. Okay. <laughs> I think I have the bass in there. Yeah, I don't know how to chop him. Start it. There he is. Or she. I'm not sure which one this is. Oh, this That's is the good. medium sized guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So amazing. These are probably the prettiest of the native jar. A really nice spotting on the head and body. Let's get a good look at it. Oh, I can. Yeah, there he is, that slender snout. Not like a long nose, it's still shorter. But then the spotting on the nose is how you really identify them. Um, short nose look just like this, but they have no patterning. 
on the nose especially, but usually the whole body. Alright, there he goes. Alright, finally back with the gar. You can see our snails got beat up a little bit, but that should heal. Obviously, probably the whole week. And we'll go ahead and jump down the oil pit and uh, pass them on down. Yeah, here is our first gar. This is one of the smaller ones. Hugo's Crunch Trap Supreme. If you look, he's about the size of the biggest gar. predatory so if it fits in their mouth they'll eat it but otherwise they are not too bad. Uh, the gar have not started eating yet but they just went in a couple days ago. It's really cool how active 